Hi guys, I'm going to take you through a tool called Postman. If you have not heard it before, Postman has actually revolutionized the way developers design, test and document APIs. With its user-friendly interface and robust features, Postman has become the go-to tool for API development across the globe. As a starter guide, you can refer to this. Uh, it tells you about how to set up authentication, uh, setting up the rate limits, I tell you about the response errors. Uh, so uh, you can clearly figure out the key features of Postman, uh, which are API design and testing. <clears throat> okay, so let's look at how to make a GET call. For sending guess, GET requests in Postman, uh, we can easily send GET requests to APIs by specifying the endpoint URL and parameters. So uh, in this part, your URL goes. This is the method uh without for this url let's see what i get now uh, it's throwing an error with the name authentication error invalid api key for making this get call i need to set up an authorization uh, i need to pass the authentication key and value in my headers so this is my sample url and I'm going to make a get call. And this is my desired response. It's returning a 200, uh, which means that the call was successful. If the status is 200 with OK, then that means the call was successful. It uh, took around 365 millisecond as the execution time and this is the entire response of that call you can probably change the format here uh, depending on your need json looks the best We don't need a bot. We actually don't have to pass any body while making a get call. While uh, creating a post call, the post call do require body params or uh, adjacent body. Either you can use query parameters to pass that, or you can use adjacent body structure. Certainly, here are some sample APIs that you can test in Postman to demonstrate various HTTP request methods like GET, POST, and even other methods as per your requirement. So GET is basically to retrieve data and POST is to create data. Getting a 200 uh, uh, status justifies that it's a successful call. The, it took around 328 milliseconds and here is our response data it's so easy to visualize here in postman and uh, so that's why it's a great tool for testing now i'm going to hit a post call here and see what i'll get i'm getting id 101 it's a sample api endpoint uh, and because it doesn't require any authorization, that's why uh, it's returning me the data. Otherwise, we need to pass authentication parameters in the headers or within authorization, depending on depending on the type of authorization you have, whether it's Auth0, basic auth authentication. Uh, so you might have to generate a, an API token for authorization purpose and then pass it into your headers as a key value parameter 
body can be passed in uh, numerous ways either you can create query params just like this uh, with the question mark operator and pass your params or you can pass it using a raw json file it can be json text html xml uh, in a way uh, which satisfies your requirements then if you have a front-end web application you want to pass some data through the form uh, you can use form data basically put request is to update data then we have patch request which is going to partially update data it's like it's basically used for editing or bulk edit a delete request deletes the data so when whenever you're making a delete call what I'm gonna do is to uh, pass the params so suppose if I do post one here it's actually going to delete it and now I don't see anything here it's a, again a success because I've passed the ID within the call and it has deleted uh, and with the success message okay with the status code 200 the execution time it took it was 367 milliseconds and it's so easy to do API testing here within Postman which is why it is it's a wonderful tool before creating any application we can do all the testing here and then move ahead uh, with our design structure within the app sometimes you don't want to pass query params you uh, have a front end being developed in react.js or a language which only supports form data then uh, we can test all those apis here within postman and figure it out whether that api is going to work or not and if it if not then we might bring in changes uh, to make the front end use the query params like uh, within a url you can just pass uh, your parameters it's always best to create an environment so that you can save all your uh, apis which you are testing within that environment all right guys that was a quick way overview of postman api testing thank you